Hi guys, so today I'm going to be filming some Metal Charms tips and fixes and again, I know there are a lot of Metal Charms tutorials here on YouTube. I figured since I've been experiencing some trouble with Metal Charms um, that I would share some tips with you guys of how I try to fix them. So let's get started. So the first tip I have for you is to use white nail polish for the painting of the base rather than white acrylic paint. When you use the nail polish, it actually dries a lot faster. Two, once the nail polish hardens, it is actually very hard to chip off, especially on metal pieces because there are little ridges and little kind of designs on it. Now, the reasons why I don't like using acrylic paint is one, it does take a little longer to dry. Two, once the acrylic paint actually dries, it sometimes is kind of just too thin, so you kind of have to put a second or a third layer. Three, when you put on the glitter and the glue and you kind of start mixing it with your toothpick or whatever tool you use, sometimes the paint actually chips off, at least for me. So that might just be because paint is a little thinner and not as strong or hard as nail polish would be. You also don't need to buy an expensive nail polish. I actually got this for 25 cents or 50 cents. Tip number two, I'm just gonna kind of talk about stickers and there are actually different types of stickers. So for this first sheet, you'll notice that the stickers are holographic and in the back, they're actually kind of metallic. For this next sheet, you'll notice that the stickers are kind of transparent and they are kind of thick and rubbery and the back is clear. And for this last sheet, which are what most stickers are like, it's made out of paper and then you have this kind of um, laminated top, but the back is still made of paper. With the metallic and the plastic rubber, these actually stay in the base very, very well. So these are two examples. The stickers stayed in place. They're completely flat and they're not moving around. However, with the paper stickers, sometimes you'll notice that if the glitter and the glue aren't completely dry yet, your sticker will start to curl. They kind of look flat, but that's because I kept pushing it down with a toothpick. Or you'll see that the ears of the Kutusita Nyanko are kind of raised up, and that's because the glitter and the glue weren't completely dry, and when I put the sticker in, I immediately put the resin or the top coat over it and the sticker started to bend forward. So basically what I would recommend for paper stickers like this, first you would want the glitter and the glue to completely dry. Two, you would want to put glue on the back of the sticker and then paste it down. Wait about 10 to 15 minutes to make sure that it's completely dry and then dome it over with resin or whatever you use to dome your metal charms. Tip number three, I'm gonna talk about ways to dome. Most people will use resin to dome over the charms, but what I've started using is glossy accents. With the resin, many people will know you have to use two equal portions, so portion A and portion B, you mix it together, make sure you don't form any bubbles, make sure it's not cloudy when it's done, and then you just place a little bit over your charm and then it'll have this very nice shiny finish. But I don't know if you guys would be surprised to know that I actually did not use resin to dome any of these metal charms. With resin, you would also have to wait like 12 hours or 24 hours before it completely dries, 72 hours just to be safe. I started using glossy accents after I saw a tutorial by Rag Princess So, where she was using glossy accents to kind of dome her bottle cap charms, which I was really surprised was really, really shiny. So the moment I got back to the United States, I ordered myself two bottles. So you'll see with all these metal charms that they're really nice and shiny and they're just like resin pieces. I do admit that they're not as smooth as resin would be, but that might just be because I'm really not that great with metal charms or resin in general. But overall, I think these are really nice. This bottle is two fluid ounces and you can find it at Joann's for $6.99. You can also find it at Michael's and Hobby Lobby for $5.99. I actually bought this on Etsy, two bottles for $4.50 each. If you want a 0.5 fluid ounce bottle, it's $2.99 at Joann's. This actually only takes about 15 to 60 minutes to dry as opposed to the 12 to 24 to 72 hours you would normally wait for resin. So I think this is an amazing alternative to resin. So I really want to thank Chelsea or Rag Princess Sews for introducing me to this product because I absolutely love it. So I hope this tips video was helpful to you and that the fixes were also helpful to you. The first tip was between acrylic paint and white nail polish for making the base white. And then the second tip was just knowing what kind of stickers you're using. And then the third tip was talking about using glossy accents to dome 
or using your regular resin. If you have any questions, let me know down below. I don't know if the glossy accents would work for regular resin pieces, so I apologize for that. But if I ever try it, I'll let you guys know. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. And if you would like any tutorials on how I do something with metal charms, just let me know and I'd be more than happy to make tutorials for you guys. Thank you guys so much. Bye!